Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tesla in the Gong. This is my vision of what a heads up display for our Teslas would look like. Obviously, this is not there in our cars at this time. So I had to superimpose the footage from the front dash camera of the Model X onto the windshield to get this cool effect. I know this looks a little obtrusive, but do stick around to the end of this video where I have tried different sizes and different positions on the windscreen where a possible heads up display would make sense. Now onto the main purpose of this video. This video is an extensive test of the recent Tesla software update 2020.32.2 and 2020.32.3. As you can see in this footage, in addition to displaying the speed sign, traffic lights showing the red light, you can also see animated pedestrians walking across the road in real time. Absolutely cool. Now I could not have done this video without Peter who goes by the Twitter handle, way too old for this, who extensively filmed his drive around Sydney on autopilot. Thanks a million Nate, I could not have done this video without you. I felt that this video would be a perfect candidate for Tesla Tom's urban autopilot challenge. Now criterion for that challenge as laid by Tom are, 1. You need to engage autopilot in city traffic, 2. Drive for at least 20 minutes and 3. Check how many interventions are necessary in that short drive. If you have not seen Tesla Tom's video, do check the description of this video or the top right corner for the same. It's a cool set of videos and he does have a couple of episodes as well. With autopilot engaged, all Teslas with hardware 3.0 will come to a halt with this software update here in Australia, immaterial of whether the traffic light is green or red. So one needs to intervene by pressing on the accelerator or on the cruise stock to get the car moving forward and it does keep perfectly to the center of this lane. But here we had to turn left so we had to intervene so this is the first intervention in this ride. Our Teslas do not do turns nor roundabouts but Elon Musk in a recent tweet did confirm that his very own Model S running a bleeding edge alpha does do turns and does take roundabouts. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this but there is a keep clear sign on the road and although the traffic light is much further ahead the car did stop here. Pretty cool isn't it? I must point out that the oncoming traffic on the opposite side of the road is also rendered although the display may be a little wonky at times but the car knows that this is a double lane road and it must not cross to the opposite side. Once the traffic light turns green a small bit of acceleration and the car is able to move forward. You can see the way it recognizes the traffic light ahead. It says 50 meters and it's going to stop. Another intervention and the car would go forward. As in my Model 3 video, if the traffic light turned red, the car will definitely stop. Although you may have intervened to say the car can go forward, if the traffic light turns red, it will stop. Autopilot has been working perfectly till now. If it's a straight road, there really is no necessity for any intervention at this time. It can also change lanes without any problems. Even if the vehicle in front of you has to take a left or right turn, our Tesla will slow down for the same and then pass once that car has turned. Now it does take a few extra seconds for the car to start moving again and it's palpably less human. Now in this case there was a car standing in front and Peter had to intervene because the warning lights came up. There was not enough time for the car to change lanes so he had to intervene. That's the second intervention in this drive. Again, as you can see, the car is coasting along fine till one has to take that left turn. Here something interesting happens. You see that auto steer temporarily unavailable message come up. You do see that from time to time when you try to engage autopilot and there's no vehicle for reference in front of a Tesla. So the Tesla has to be traveling at a particular speed. I think it's 80 km per hour when there's no car in front for autopilot to be engaged. Now this is a demonstration of how the car stops when it recognizes a roundabout. Here we go, we have to stop, one more intervention, autopilot does switch off at this time. Now in that bleeding edge alpha, Elon Musk has said that the cars do take roundabouts. Not perfectly at first, he says, but then eventually it will learn. Absolutely excited. Here in Australia we have a fair number of roundabouts even on urban roads and doing that is still a challenge. Roundabouts are still a nemesis for our Teslas. One more roundabout and we wanted to test what would happen if we did not intervene in the roundabout. Now first up the red line comes through because it recognizes the roundabout and the car comes to a halt. And then we press on the stock and the red light turns green and the car now starts to inch forward 
but midway through it just completely gives up the car does not like it you get this large red light which says auto steer is aborting and then of course cruise control becomes unavailable as well and we had to take over one more intervention Now turning into M4, we could engage autopilot again. This is the display with map superimposed on the windshield. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, if you thought autopilot will not work inside the tunnel, well, you thought wrong. It's in roads like this that autopilot really shines. Nice long stretch of road without much of turns and more than enough space to change lanes and high speed traffic. Autopilot works like a charm. Right guys, I need to point out that inside the tunnel, navigate on autopilot does not work. So it still was the usual autopilot with a double blue line that was seen and now navigate on autopilot is taken over and see a single blue line now in this navigate on autopilot car will take on ramps and off ramps if the route is set it will also change lanes if we turn off intervention required in the settings it really is cool i've tested this on multiple locations you can see my other videos now if you do like what i'm doing also click on that subscribe button click on that bell icon to see more such videos Now let's check out a few possible positions where this heads up display can be. I particularly like this one, top right corner. It would be nice if the display is less busy. I would like to see the speed. I'd like to see any autopilot warnings as well as messages. I'd like to see the battery and definitely would like to see maps. So this can be made a little less busy and it'll be nice in the top right corner. What do you guys think? This can be a next possible position in the middle. It is in the line of sight of the driver as well and I hope if it's less busy it won't be as obtrusive as it is right now because it can be a little distracting but then just keep only the map and the speed and the battery on display and you can remove the rest i suppose that'll be better this third position at the bottom of the screen is my most favorite it is discreet enough to give enough information that's necessary including maps and it is unobtrusive enough for us to concentrate on the road which is the most important Here I'm cycling through a few other possible positions and what information will be displayed on a possible heads up display. It'll be amazing if you guys leave your comments on your most favorite position and what information you think would be necessary in our Teslas. All you steely-eyed viewers out there, yes, it has only been five interventions in this drive. I know it has not been completely urban autopilot because a little bit of M4 has been thrown in into the mix. But even so, I think it's a fantastic outcome. So what do you think, Tom? Did this video qualify for your urban autopilot challenge? Did we perform reasonably well on these urban or nearly urban roads? Leave your thoughts in the comments as well, mate. I look forward to that one. Folks, leave your thoughts on this video as well in the comments below. So do you like a heads-up display at all? What is the position you like the heads-up display to be in? And what are the things you want displayed there? I do check all my comments and reply to them in a timely fashion. As we watch these possible heads-up display positions and sizes and wish that it will come to our Teslas very soon, I kindly urge you to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon. If you like what I'm doing, kindly do share this video to your family and friends. Now, as you all know, my Model 3 is available for hire via ev.com.au x Canberra. Kindly do check that out. Description has all the details. Until I see you guys in another interesting video very soon, this is Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.